Hey, hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, I am going to discuss how I moisturize my protective style. So I get this question a lot. People want to know how often that I moisturize, what do I use to moisturize my hair with, and how do I actually achieve moisturizing my hair. I feel that people get this misconception that the day that you do your hair, for example, Sunday night, you decide, okay, I'm gonna do twists or whatever it is. I'm using my shea butter mix, I'm using my olive oil, I washed my hair before, and my hair is moisturized. It's fluffy, it's soft, and it has movement. <laughs> so my hair is moisturized, right? Uh, yes and no. Your hair is moisturized, but how long is that moisture going to stay in? Moisturizing your hair is an on going process, okay? And always remember, moisture equals water. So moisturizing my hair is simple, simple, simple. I keep it simple because you don't need to make it difficult. I have my water bottle spray. You can see it's not 100% water, there's oil in here. And the only thing that's in here is olive oil, okay? So water and olive oil. And here's my olive oil right here. So here's my water bottle spray. And I'm not gonna spray it directly to my scalp, okay? I'm gonna spray it away from my scalp to give my hair a mist, okay? So I'm spraying it, you see how far I am? Give my hair a light spray. If you, the closer you are, the more chance you have frizz. And we want to prevent frizz so the stuff can last a little longer. So now, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And sometimes I don't do this. It depends on how my hair is feeling. Like, say after the first couple of days after I do my hair, I don't add any oil I mean I have it in my water bottle but I won't do this step because my shea butter leave-in recipe has two different oils in there so sometimes it's not necessary so just lightly apply my oil and you see me do my little water spritz and use my black Jamaican castor oil, a couple of drops, and I'm going to just apply that to my edges. You guys see me do this a lot, so do that to my edges. Make sure I get the back, okay? So that way your the back of your hair don't break off, and you will have your hair growing in all areas, okay? So where you want your hair to lay in the morning, just have it lay there. Now, as you can see, the back of my hair is a lot longer. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to the back here. To the back, I'm going to crisscross it. Like this. And I'm going to turn around so you can see me in the front. So I crisscrossed it like this that and the reason why I'm crisscrossing it because it's longer now and I don't want my hair sticking up okay so take my satin scarf and I'm gonna just fold it however you wear your satin scarf is fine but I'm gonna fold it into like a triangle okay and then just making sure that my hair don't you know come down the part that I'm holding up. So I'm going to tie my scarf down. Like that. Pretty simple. And don't tie it too tight. You see how loose it is? I like it like this. Because I don't want to wake up in the morning and I have like a line on my head. Not cute. And then you just 
do a bow tie in the back. Then I will cover it with my satin bonnet and tuck everything inside and make sure that no hair is sticking out so that way my hair is not hitting my cotton pillowcase or my cotton sheets because you know cotton do dry out our hair and the purpose is to moisturize it <gasps> I'm done so that's it that's my nighttime routine and I will show you how it looks like in the morning I'm gonna go to sleep now oh uh -huh. go to sleep like this and I'm not gonna snore I'm just gonna be like Mm, I sleep just like this, I promise. Oh. <laughs>